First Lady Rachel Ruto has launched a program to equip women inmates with various skills, including cross-stitching. The project, dubbed Karakana, is a continuation of her 2016 initiative where inmates at Langata Women's Maximum Prison learn how to cross-stitch and make a living. We want to expand Karakana offering to include other forms of creative art like crochet, uh, bead making, basketry, needlework, knitting, and more just like uh, I've seen when I did my tour uh, in the workshops. We continue, we encourage each one of you to take up one of these creative arts. Director of Public Prosecutions Nore Din Haji says he has received a duplicate file relating to the investigations against former Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi. In a statement, Haji said the file involves allegations that police had cornered off Matiangi's Karen residence with the intention of arresting him on the 8th of February. The DPP disclosed that he would review the file presented to him by the Director of Criminal Investigations before deciding whether to charge the former CS. This comes a day after the Director of Criminal Investigation said that Matiangi is set to face various charges, including a conspiracy to commit a felony following allegations of a raid at his Karen home. Legislators allied to Azimio Laumojo and Kenya Coalition have asked President William Ruto's administration to focus on accountability to Kenyans and shun lamenting over the harsh economic times. Nairobi Senator Edwin Sifuna and his Kitui counterpart Enoch Wambua insisted that Kenyans are tired of the current charade of complaints and accusations from the government. We have a shared concern that Kenyans are being lied to and taken round in cycles, particularly on the issue of the economy. While we will continue participating in the public barazas where the issue is equally being conversed, we want to bring this matter more decisively to the public discourse. Where need be, we will take it ourselves to government offices if that can help us get coherent and believable answers on the matter of the economy, which we can then share with the citizens of Kenya. And finally... The UN's rights chief criticized today a British draft law that would outlaw asylum claims by anyone arriving in the country illegally, warning that it would violate international law. Britain's conservative government intends to outlaw asylum claims by all illegal arrivals and transfer them elsewhere, such as Rwanda, in a bid to stop thousands of migrants from crossing the channel on small boats. Because we do have returns agreements with India, with Pakistan, with Serbia, with Nigeria, and crucially, now with Albania, where we are returning hundreds of people, Mr. Speaker. But look, our position on this is clear. If you arrive here illegally, you will not be able to claim asylum here. You will not be able to access the modern slavery system, and you will not be able to make spurious human rights claims. That is the right thing to do. But he's simply, he's going... For more on these and other stories, log on to www.capitalfm.co.ke slash news.